So to show what a view does, let's look at some code. What I'm going to do is just show an example without Backbone and then I will convert that example into Backbone just to show you the difference and how Backbone helps. What we will do is we'll create a list and in that list we'll just render out um, a couple of people objects. Now in Backbone normally you'd create a, a view and so to do that I'm just going to create a list and so this list is going to represent a view and then what we would also have is a collection of models. So um, each row in the database will represent a model and all three models together is a collection. So all collections are uh, basically arrays. So I'm going to do so have a, a variable called people which is an array of objects and each object represents a person so is in backbone terms a model. Um, now we're going to have to get these or iterate over all of these models and put them in the list and this is usually the responsibility of a view so now I'm going to create a little my own special view. So the view will just be a simple variable um, it's going to be an object and here we're going to have a little render function and this function is going to take the list of people and what it's going to do is create the list based off that people of, uh, array. So first of all we're going to empty the list then we're going to use the underscore each method to iterate over each person and for each person we're going to append a list item with the person's name and in brackets the person's age. So now if we open the window we can see we have people, the three objects, we also have the view. So if we go view.render uh, they will appear and so if you pop out a person, so there's only two, you can render it again and it updates itself. So now we can see how uh, the DOM window is really just a reflection of what's behind the scenes. It's just a way to display the data. And so behind the DOM window we have what the, the JavaScript environment. I'm not sure what it's officially called. And here we will have um, you'll have your backbone app which will consist of collections and models and stuff so here will people is would be a collection in backbone but I'll talk about that when we get to collections uh, just think of it as an array and a view is used to render this array so here I've just created a new view called list view and then just hit view.render and you pass in the people collection into the view so it knows what to render. And this way anytime you change the people collection since the view has it because you passed it in um, every time you change a collection the view can just re-render. So uh, in on the database on the server um, if you remove say 4 and then you go people.fetch which will fetch the what's persisted in the data and database uh, it'll, it'll be like okay we've only got three now because four's been deleted and then this view will be listening to the collection and as soon as the collection updates itself the view will be like I better update myself as well and you do this through binding which I'll talk about soon and so yeah once the people collection is updated, the view will render again and that will just disappear. Okay, so that now that's code an actual backbone view. We have the same array of people and we're going to use that um, to pass into the view 
and the view is going to render them the same as before so you may have noticed I removed the unordered list from the body and that's because our view is going to represent that unordered list so you have to keep in mind that a view has a property called L and this L is what's um, going to be appended to the DOM so you're always going to be manipulating this L and then uh, when you're ready to paste it or put it into the body of the page or anywhere into a div uh, you call the last thing you call is L so it'll be like you know body dot append um, view dot render and then dot L so because you're pasting in this L um, we have to uh, make sure that it's the right tag so that's that's going to be our first first thing to do so by default your L will be a div but we want ours to be an unordered list so anyway let's let's create this thing so we'll call it list view we capitalize it just as a convention to show uh, that it is going to be like a class I guess in Ruby terms so if our view equals backbone dot view dot extend so what's happening here is extend is a method from underscore which allows you to merge two objects together so backbone view is an object with functions and attributes and extend is going to merge that object with my object which is this one here and so this is where we put our our code and that will be merged with background view so we get all that functionality and yeah we then we can use it so anyway what I was saying before is by default our tag name is going to be div but we want to override it to unordered list so that means that our L is simply at the moment it equals this okay so what do we want to do next we want to render it or define a render method so render equals a function I'm not going to pass anything into it and this is basically going to do the same thing as before let's not get too far ahead of ourselves let's make sure this is working on the page um, before we continue so let's create a view it's going to be a new list view and we won't pass anything in and then what we're going to do is render this to the body or append it to the body so body dot append view dot render and then we always this is how how you meant to do it you always go l so while render you could uh, make that return the HTML uh, it's conventional to always return this uh, this being um, the, this itself like the whole thing so if render is going to return this we want to append this dot l so it's, it's the same that is all the same as going like this dot l and l is going to be the ul hopefully if that it all works properly so save that um, refresh and there it is so we can see that's worked properly so I've pasted in some code which is similar to what I did before um, so we loop through people and we're going to assign it to this dot L then we're going to return this and then we're going to render uh, render the view and call the L element to retrieve the HTML so there's going to be a problem with this though and <laughs> it's
starts with the word this. When you loop through something like this, oh, I've got to stop saying this, then the value of this is going to change. It's not going to be the same as this, this. <laughs> so, how are we going to get around that? If you don't understand how this works, you might have to go look it up because it's pretty hard to explain. But basically, we need to set another variable. Um, I like to do self because that's in Ruby, but some people do that. So, var that equals this. And then, then you can reference it here. I'm going to do self because I like self better. And that way, it will um, it'll actually work. So that that can sometimes be a gotcha, I guess. If things aren't working, have a look at the, this variable and make sure that all the contexts are right. Uh, anyway, this should work now. If we go and see that, yep, it's working. It's not working the right way, or well, we shouldn't we shouldn't really be assigning people to a global variable like this, and then just referencing the global variable. What would be better is if we pass this into the view as a collection. And this way, um, the collection will be assigned to a property in the view, which is options. So anything anything you pass in here, this object here, will always be available from by doing this. So this dot options dot collection will give you that. And what's even cooler is that you can just go this dot collection. But only for certain words. So I think it's collection model tag name. So if you pass any of these um, into here, uh, the backbone view will assign it to its own uh, property of this, as opposed to just putting in options. If I had called it like people, then I would have to reference it by going this options dot people. I couldn't go just that. That wouldn't work. It's only for these these special words. Anyway, now that I've passed in the collection, I can just go this dot collection or self, and that way uh, the view has its very own reference to people, as opposed to relying on a global variable, which is bad practice. Refresh that, still works.